Hello everybody, my name is Gregory and we're going to be dealing with um, uh, some more trigonometry and you can find more examples on helpyourmath.com. So suppose cosine of an angle is 5 over 7 and it finishes or terminates in quadrant 4 and we want to find the sine of an angle. So the technique that I'm going to use is I'm going to draw my um, x and y axis again. So this is quadrant 1, this is quadrant 2, this is quadrant 3, and this is quadrant 4. Okay, so cosine of theta, it finishes in quadrant 4, it terminates there, so it basically goes all around and terminates in this quadrant. Okay, so it finishes in this quadrant. Now, the cosine of theta is 5 over 7, and cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse, so it's adjacent 5 over 7. Now, because this is a right, right, a right triangle, we can use the Pythagorean theorem to find this, uh, this side right here. So the Pythagorean theorem says a squared plus b squared equals c squared, and this is for whenever you are dealing with a right angle, you have your a, your b, and your c. So I can say 5 squared plus my b squared, which I don't know what it is, equals my c squared, which is 7 squared. So then I have 25 plus b squared equals 49. So b squared equals 49 minus 25. And so b squared equals 24. And b, when I take the square root of it, becomes like that. Now keep in mind, whenever you're taking the square root, you have to put plus or minus, but we're not gonna we're only gonna put plus because distances can only be positive. I just kinda just wanna just make a note on that. So then b equals root four times root six, which equals two root six. So now we know what this side is. It's two root six. So now we have all the sides of our triangle and we're asked to find the sine of theta. So sine of theta is opposite over hypotenuse. But first, we should recognize, we should figure out because uh, the, the sign of these things, if it's positive or negative, because all functions are positive in this region. Only the sign of a function is positive in this region. Only the tangent of a function is positive in this region. And only the cosine of a function is positive in this region. So in this region, only the cosine is positive. So sine, if I'm in this region, is going to be a negative value. And then, so now we can just say opposite over hypotenuse. Opposite over hypotenuse. So it's um, 2 root 6 over 7. And so that's, that's it. That's the answer.